A sensor in the centre of the ball sends inertial data 500 times per second, allowing a more precise detection of the kick point compared to conventional broadcasts and optical tracking, which are limited to 50 frames per second. In addition, 12 dedicated tracking cameras mounted underneath the roof of each stadium track the ball and 29 points on the body of each individual player 50 times per second, calculating their exact position on the pitch. The 29 points include all limbs and extremities that are relevant for offside calls, allowing the team in the video operation room to know the exact position of a player at any given moment. All player and ball data is processed in real time by artificial intelligence, which triggers alerts in the video operation room when an offside position is detected. The system constantly tracks and alerts once the ball is received by a player who is in an offside position when the ball was played. The video match officials validate the proposed decision by manually checking the automatically selected kick point and the automatically created offside line. The offside decision is then communicated to the referee via audio headset. For improved communication to the fans after the offside decision has been confirmed by the referee, a replay animation is created and shown in the stadium and on TV. Well, let's recap the key points from the video then. There will be 12 cameras in each stadium tracking 29 data points on each player, including each limb and their extremities as well. Added to that, there's a sensor in the ball, as we saw, used at the tournament, sending data 500 times a second, making it incredibly precise when the ball is kicked. And if the ball is received by an attacker in an offside position, the technology then sends an automated offside alert to the video officials, who then review the footage manually. Now, the process, which is expected to be quicker than the current VA our setup is then confirmed by the referee and a 3D animation created by the technology will be shown on screens in the ground and on TV broadcasts.